Space. Vast, silent, infinitely strange. Space has captured the human imagination for centuries, a mind-boggling canvas that we're only just scratching the surface of. Space has always been a playground for our imagination, filled with black holes, exploding stars, and a lot of eerie silence. But what if some of the wildest things you've heard about space are actually real? Ever wondered if sound can travel through the vacuum of space, or if there's a star out there so powerful it could obliterate entire planets in its path? While these aren't just sci-fi fantasies, they are grounded in some of the most fascinating science that we've yet discovered. And it gets even weirder. Stars that could be mistaken for diamonds, planets raining molten glass, and cosmic forces so extreme they defy everything we thought we knew about the universe. We've all heard it before. Space is a vacuum, and there's no sound in a vacuum. And that makes sense. After all, sounds need something to travel through. Air, water, even solid materials. Without a medium, the vast emptiness of space should be silent. At least, that's what science tells us. But here's where things get weird. While it's true that sound, as we know it, can't travel in a vacuum, certain parts of space are anything but empty. In regions like galaxy clusters, you'll find dense clouds of gas where sound waves can, in fact, propagate. And NASA actually recorded them, a sort of space soundtrack, if you will. Take the Perseus Cluster, a collection of galaxies about 240 million light years away. Astronomers discovered that the supermassive black hole at its center produces sound waves, ripples in the surrounding gas. These waves are so deep that their frequency is a whopping 57 octaves below middle C, the lowest note ever detected in the universe. If we could hear it, it would be like a cosmic hum, impossibly low and eerie. But don't worry, your eardrums are safe because it is far outside the range of human hearing. And it's not just black holes. Some solar winds, for instance, create vibrations that can be translated into sound waves. Scientists use instruments like radio telescopes to convert these electromagnetic waves into audio. The result is ghostly wails, unsettling hisses, and rhythmic pulses. Essentially, the greatest ambient horror soundtrack ever produced. And it's all right above us. So while space itself may not carry sound the way we experience it on Earth, the cosmos does have its own voice. A haunting, otherworldly, terrifying voice whispering across the stars. Running late, no time for breakfast, and you're starving. Look, we've all been there racing to meetings, practice, school pickups, or just trying to get out the door. Basically feels like every day, doesn't it? But what if a delicious, nutritious meal could be ready in just seconds? Yes, that is Huel, the sponsor of today's show. They are the world's leading complete nutrition brand. They've got over 400 million meals sold worldwide, which is a hell of a lot. They're trusted by people looking to fuel their days with convenient, complete nutrition. Now, Huel, it's not just food. It's fuel. It's designed by experts. A perfectly balanced meal packed with 27 vitamins and minerals and up to 40 grams of protein in their black edition powder. Just add two scoops, water, shake, and you're set to go. Perfect for your busy days. No prep, no cooking, no compromises. Plus, it tastes great. It's like a milkshake. They've got chocolate, vanilla, coffee, caramel, and banana. And it's done to $3 a meal. It's affordable, too. I love the Black Edition personally. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you're ready to give it a shot, here's an exclusive offer for new customers. Get 15% off plus a free gift. What? With the code SIDEPROJECTS at Huel.com. That's H-U-E-L dot com. Fuel your best with Huel today. And now back to today's episode. Stars, those twinkling points of light in the night sky, feel like eternal fixtures, steady, unchanging. But here's the truth. Stars don't live forever, and when they die, they can go out in the most spectacularly violent way imaginable. I'm talking about the supernova, the cosmic explosion that is so powerful it can outshine entire galaxies. Here's how it works. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it essentially runs out of fuel. No fuel means no energy to fight against gravity, and the star collapses under its own weight. What happens next is a violent explosion that sends shockwaves out across space, scattering elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron into the universe. Supernovae are so bright that for a brief time, they can eclipse all the other stars in their galaxy combined. And here's the good part. Every single atom of gold in your jewelry, every bit of calcium in your bones, and every molecule of oxygen that you are breathing right now was all forged in the heart of a star that ended its life in a supernova. Yes, we are quite literally stardust. 
We could witness one of these stellar fireworks any day now. The red supergiant Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the night sky, and it's been acting strangely lately. It's dimmed unexpectedly, leaving some astronomers to believe that it's gearing up for its final act. If it does explode, it could light up the night sky for weeks, visible even during the day. Of course, any day now in astronomical terms could mean tomorrow, or it could mean in a hundred thousand years. There are few natural phenomena quite as unsettling as black holes. They are unspeakable, the ultimate space monsters. You've probably heard the myth that black holes are like cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking up everything in their path. And here's the thing, they're not exactly wrong. They don't technically suck, but their gravitational pull is so intense that once you cross the event horizon, the point of no return, not even light can escape, which is terrifying in itself. Now, black holes form when massive stars die and collapse under their own gravity, compressing all of their mass into an unimaginably tiny space. Their gravitational field becomes so strong that it warps the very fabric of spacetime. Instead of sucking, they bend and pull anything too close. Stars, planets, gas, dust, it all goes into a swirling, deadly spiral known as an accretion disk. And when they finally consume that material, they can emit powerful energy jets, as if belching after some sort of cosmic feast. To make this even more nightmarish, black holes don't just sit still lurking in the darkness. They can move. In fact, some are speeding through the universe, and scientists have discovered a rogue black hole tearing through space, leaving destruction in its wake. Thought of an invisible, unstoppable force heading towards us? Not exactly comforting. And then there's the process of spaghettification, the gruesome fate awaiting anything unlucky enough to fall into a black hole. As you get closer, the gravitational pull on the part of you nearest the black hole becomes exponentially stronger than the pull on the rest of you. The result is that you're stretched into a long, thin strand like cosmic spaghetti. It's like some sort of bizarre medieval torture, except it's in space. Time feels constant, unchangeable, something we all live by. But space doesn't play by those rules. Out there, time is fluid, bending and stretching in ways that sound like science fiction but are totally real. It all comes down to Einstein's theory of relativity, which tells us that time moves slower in stronger gravitational fields. This phenomenon is called time dilation. And it's not just a theoretical concept, it's been measured. For example, astronauts on the International Space Station, where gravity is weaker than on Earth, age just a tiny bit slower than the people on the ground. It's only a fraction of a second over a year, but the principle is the same. Now let's take it to the extreme, black holes. Near the event horizon, the point where nothing can escape, a black hole's gravity becomes so intense that time almost reaches a standstill. If you were to hover just outside of a black hole's event horizon for what felt like an hour, decades, or even centuries, might pass on Earth. I mean, this isn't just theoretical. GPS satellites orbiting Earth experience time dilation because of their position relative to Earth's gravitational field. To keep our navigation systems accurate, their clocks have to be adjusted to account for this difference. Without this correction, your GPS would be off by kilometers in just a single day. For the longest time, people believed space was a dry, barren wasteland. No water, no life, no hope. But as it turns out, that myth couldn't be further from the truth. Water is everywhere in space, and its presence is rewriting what we know about the cosmos. Let's start close to home. NASA recently confirmed water molecules trapped in sunlit regions on the moon, which is incredibly important for future lunar exploration. And Mars? Its poles are covered in frozen water, with evidence suggesting ancient rivers and lakes once carved the planet's surface. Beneath Mars's surface, there might still be liquid water hiding in salty underground reservoirs. But the real treasure troves of water are on Jupiter's and Saturn's moons. Take Europa, one of Jupiter's icy satellites. Beneath its frozen crust lies an entire ocean, potentially twice the volume of all the water on Earth. And even better, that ocean could harbor life. Scientists think hydrothermal vents on Europa's seafloor might mimic the conditions where life began on Earth. And don't forget Enceladus, a small moon of Saturn that shoots water into space through giant geysers. These plumes contain organic compounds, the building blocks of life, making Enceladus one of the most exciting places in the search for extraterrestrial organisms. And water isn't limited to moons and planets, though. It's in comets, asteroids, and interstellar clouds. The discovery of water vapor in the atmosphere of distant exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars, proves that liquid water might be more common than we ever imagined. And where there's water, there's the potential for life. Space 
isn't as lifeless as we thought. It's wet, it's mysterious, it's teeming with the possibilities of worlds that we're just beginning to understand. They say all good things must come to an end, and that includes the universe itself. The idea of a cosmic apocalypse feels like science fiction, but make no mistake, it is very real. The universe began with the Big Bang, and someday it will have an end. The question is, how? One of the most widely accepted theories is the heat death of the universe, also known as the Big Freeze. As the universe continues expanding, stars will eventually burn out, galaxies will drift apart, and, and everything will grow colder and darker. In this grim future, energy will be so evenly distributed that nothing, no stars, no life, not even motion will be possible. The universe will become a vast, silent expanse of nothingness. And then there's the big crunch. This theory suggests that the universe's expansion might one day reverse, causing everything to collapse back into a singularity, the reverse of the Big Bang. Imagine galaxies, stars, and planets all hurtling toward one catastrophic implosion. It's dramatic, sure, but maybe not as bleak as the Big Freeze. After all, the Big Crunch could lead to another Big Bang restarting the cycle. But that's the most terrifying possibility is the Big Rip. Here, dark energy, an invisible force driving the universe's expansion, keeps accelerating until it tears everything apart. Galaxies will shred, stars will disintegrate, and even atoms won't be safe. The universe will end not in silence, but in a violent cosmic annihilation. When we think of planets, we imagine them comfortably orbiting their stars like Earth does the Sun. They're stable, they're predictable, but not all planets stay loyal to their stars. Some are rogue planets, wandering the galaxy untethered with no star to call home. How's this happen? Well, a planet can be flung out of its orbit by the gravitational tug of war between larger celestial bodies. Imagine two massive planets getting too close. One might get yanked away and hurled out into the void. Or in the chaos of a star system's early formation, smaller planets might just be ejected altogether. These drifters become rogues, forever roaming the darkness. Scientists estimate that the Milky Way could harbor billions of rogue planets, some larger than Jupiter, but they are almost impossible to detect. Without the light of a nearby star to illuminate them, rogue planets are invisible to our telescopes. Occasionally, we spot one using a technique called gravitational microlensing, where the planet's gravity bends light from a distant star, but for every one we detect, countless more remain hidden. Space isn't just vast, it's bizarre. For every question we've answered, a dozen more have emerged, each stranger than the last. The universe operates on rules that often defy our understanding, and sometimes even the most absurd ideas turn out to be true. Take dark matter and dark energy, for instance. We know they exist because their effects are measurable. Dark matter holds galaxies together, while dark energy drives the universe's expansion. We have no idea what they actually are. Combined, they make up about 95% of the universe, meaning everything we've ever seen. Stars, planets, you, me, that accounts for just 5%. Think about that. Most of the universe is invisible, unknown, and utterly mysterious. And then there are quantum mechanics, the rules governing the universe's tiniest particles. At the quantum level, particles can exist in multiple states at once, teleport across space, and affect each other instantaneously, even if they're light years apart. It's so counterintuitive that even Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. And let's not forget multiverse theories. Some physicists believe that our universe might be just one of countless others, each with its own laws of physics. Somewhere out there, there could be a universe where time flows backward or stars never form. The possibilities are as infinite as space itself. Thank you for watching.